The video has the subtitle. Please turn on captioning for better understanding. Here is another illustration of the complexity, the imprecision and the inhomogeneous control of the service rules in table tennis. Caution, this video do not intend to blame the referees, whose mission is impossible to fulfill correctly given the fact that they sit on the side of the table and have in addition no video assistance to help. The main problem lies in the way the rules are written in the current ITTF handbook. Yesterday Elena Zaharia faced Annette Kaufman in the European Championships. She got a warning on her very first serve, and I must confess I do not understand why, maybe the toss angle was a bit wide for the umpire. And then she got awarded a penalty point on her second serve for the same reason. Still, from the point of view we are given on TV, these serves looked quite okay, at least the ball to racket contact is visible, contrary to many serves all of us have witnessed during the very same competition day. On her fourth serve, Elena Zaharia was awarded another penalty point. I guess the umpire, who sits for the record on the side of the table, considered that the ball to racket contact was hidden from the receiver. This might be true, but the inequity here lies firstly in the fact that Annette Kaufman did not get even warned for her next serve, which didn't seem much cleaner yet, and secondly on the fact that many other way more illegal serves in the same event haven't been even warned by other umpires. This decision confused the Romanian player and her coach. An official referee was even asked to come. Later in the first game, Elena Zaharia was awarded a third penalty point for a two-wide toss angle. This is understandable, but severe compared to other unsanctioned serves, and also in relation to the angle that was inferior to the 30 degrees limit used in the TTR experiment a few years ago. ITTF, please do something, so that our sport becomes more fair and equitable. Simplify the service rules and, or, use video assistance enhanced by artificial intelligence in big events such as the European Championships. The example of the professional circuit is so important for the youth, and for amateur practices in general. For me, the umpire has completely destroyed the match. Hello, how are you today? I'm Imratik. Let's talk about the serve problem in table tennis, the complexity of service rules in table tennis, a case from the 2024 European Championships. In the recent match between Annette Kaufman and Elena Zaharia during the Liebherr 2024 European Table Tennis Championships, an incident highlighted once again the complexity and inconsistencies surrounding the enforcement of service rules in our sport. Service warning here. During this encounter, Elena Zaharia was penalized multiple times for alleged faults in her service. However, the reasons behind the umpire's decisions were not clearly communicated, leaving players, coaches, and even spectators in confusion. The incident, multiple penalties on Zaharia's serve. Elena Zaharia, a promising Romanian player, received her first warning right at the beginning of the match. Her very first serve was called out for a fault. The specific nature of the fault was not clear though some speculated it might have been due to the angle of her ball toss. However, based on the footage available, many, including myself, felt that her serve seemed legitimate, with the ball and racket contact clearly visible to the receiver. On her second serve, Zaharia was penalized with a point deduction for a similar infraction. Once again, the reasons were unclear, leading to confusion both on and off the court. At this point, Frustration began to mount for Zaharia and her coach, as the television angle did not seem to reveal any major violations. Long, but wasn't able to. I really can't see what's wrong with that serve. So. 
I'll just have another look at it. It says throwing it back. For me, for me as a player, as a commentator, I don't see what the problem is, but I'm not an umpire, so I have no jurisdiction to make that call. I think it's been very harsh. Three, three out of the uh, first four serves have either been warned or taken away. I think we're going to see the general referee come over because the Romanian contingent clearly not happy with this. It's fantastic that the umpires are trying to do a stellar job and uh, you know, trying to abide by all the rules of the book. I think it's extremely harsh, harsh the calls that have been made so far this match. So is that what we're going to continue with? Not allowing our opponent to get in. 11, 6, 8, 12, 1. Oh, okay. This is really quite ridiculous. Higher, okay, and not it's not it's okay. But at the moment you throw like this, so you need to throw higher. Then it's okay because of the verticality, okay? Okay. Okay. So Zaharia has conceded the first game. The situation escalated further when she received a third penalty point later in the game. This time for a supposed too wide toss angle. The key question here is whether these serves truly violated the rules or whether the umpire seated on the side of the table lacked the ideal viewpoint to make such precise judgments. This raises a fundamental issue. The lack of consistency and transparency in how the service rules are enforced. A call for reform simplifying the rules and using technology. It's clear that the service rules in table tennis need reform. The complexity and subjectivity of the current regulations make it difficult for umpires to enforce them consistently. While we cannot blame the referees themselves, they are doing their best within the limitations of their position. The rules, as they are currently written, put them in an almost impossible situation. One solution is to simplify the rules, making them clearer and easier to enforce. For example, adjusting the permitted toss angle to a less ambiguous number or creating clear guidelines for what constitutes an illegal serve would help reduce confusion. Another potential avenue is to introduce video assistance, perhaps even enhanced by artificial intelligence AI, to help umpires make more accurate decisions in real time. In high-level competitions such as the European Championships, this technology could ensure that the correct calls are made and that the players are treated fairly. Video assistance is already used in many other sports to great effect, and it's time for table tennis to follow suit. A 
Elena Nahari has been called again for her fault serve Just got to try and keep herself composed here. I'm just going to let this game run completely out of her grasp. And of course, it's very difficult to when you don't feel comfortable serving. Not really a lot you can do. Saw a similar thing to Ding Ning in the Olympic final in 2012. She got her serve taken away many, many, many times during the match. Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.